Hey everyone, welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel. We'll do a little test here with external antenna and I'll show you a little something that uh, also is uh, a problem and tells you what radio might be better for you than uh, for shortwave listening. So I'm tuned to 6070 which is CFRX Toronto coming in tonight and uh, the RadiWow R108 versus the Texan PL330 on the outdoor MLA30 loop antenna. So uh, how do they compare? Well, here's the RadiWow R108 on that signal. Well, this kid, and again, I'm going to say his name because I'm going to shout this young man out, Braden Ellis. He defends his stance on calling cost heroes, but of course admits that there are problems that need to be fixed. This is what I do. And this is, you know, not popular to say, but uh, I do support that those who have bad people and the people that do bad things should be brought to justice. I agree with that. But I think that, um, say I'm saying, And now here's the same signal with the Texan PL330. To be fair, the end bandwidth here would be around here if we equal that one. Uh, both radios have rough copy on it, by the way. But notice that here we were uh, having at least the dust signal we're trying to listen to, and you know it was a rough copy, but it was the signal we're listening to. The Radio Wow, because of the MLA30 loop outside, is actually reacting weird because it has all sorts of spurious signals in it. So the station is there, but we have the impression there's a lot of other stations here. When here, the station is there, but it's just the station. It's not overloading with other signals. Also, to be fair, uh, this one has a AM bandwidth of 4 kilohertz right now. Uh, the Texan PL330 offers me 5 or 3.5, so I don't have the choice of 4. Uh, I chose 3.5 to be closest, but it's still not exactly equal. So here there are some spurious signals within the uh, radio. You see that the Radio Wow has a harder time um, uh, accomplishing the same reception.
got millions of views because I think people don't often hear the perspective of a police officer, especially if this is a black, a black police officer. People call it hot too. I'm frustrated by this because while he's out in the street trying to do the right thing, trying to be a cop, and you know, so it's. It's a rough copy, but uh, there's kind of a winner in the rough copy, and the Texan is a little more intelligible in listening to it. There's not the spurious signals package that goes with it. Um, the only back draw, uh, you know, or drawback, sorry, is uh, maybe the uh, harsh fading sometimes when signals really fade a lot, which has a lot to do with the DSP chip, the silicon integrated. It seems to react weird sometimes. But still, the Texan is um, is less prone to the overload and um, actually does receive the signal a little better. I don't know what you guys think. It's I know it's hard to assess this when you know I'm recording from a, a, a phone and I um, you know the, the the audio that I hear, the audio that goes through the microphone of the phone, slightly different. So sometimes it's not always as easy. We'll uh, do the same test but with another signal that's a little stronger. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.